Ferret. And my adorable little brother, Jupiter. I am complete, undeniably, and passionately into just one thing. Earth to Luna is a virtual 3D interactive animated series for children, ages 5 to 12, about a group of three best friends named Luna, Jupiter, and Clyde. The trio explores a universe full of fascinating science experiments, each more outlandish than the last. Along the way, they learn valuable life lessons while having fun and making friends. Luna and Jupiter are two young star children who were born in the universe of science experiments. They are best friends and always ready to explore and learn about new things. In this special episode, they travel to the beginning of time and space where they meet their creator, a mysterious figure known as the scientist. The scientist tells them the story of their creation and how they were born leading to an exciting and magical adventure. This episode is sure to spark children's curiosity and imagination as they learn about the wonders of science and the power of friendship. The scene goes on to tell the full story of how Luna used to be inside her mom's belly and then how she was born. The scene continues with the parents explaining that pregnancy is a special time for mothers when they grow and nourish a new life inside them. They also tell how important it is for parents to take care of themselves during this special time and how they should be supported by their friends, family, and community. The scene ends with the parents reassuring Luna and Jupiter that they are both very special and loved. The mom then tells the story of how Jupiter used to be inside her belly. When Luna was just six years old, she explains that when Luna was seven, the family went to the hospital again for her mother to get pregnant with Jupiter. She says that the two children are very close in age and that their parents love both of them equally. The episode ends with Luna and Jupiter pondering what life was like when it was just their parents and all the questions that come up. It's a poignant reminder of the importance of family and the bonds that can last a lifetime. As the children look at the old family photo, they are transported back in time, imagining the joys and challenges of their parents' past. They can't help but wonder and daydream, wondering what it must have been like. Mom and Dad told me about the day I was born, and it was magical. I could imagine myself in her belly, being protected and cared for. Then she went back to the hospital to have my little brother Jupiter. It was a special moment, when it was just us three, but I still couldn't help feeling lonely at times. Now I have my best friend and partner in crime to explore the universe of science experiments with me. And we are unstoppable! What's on your mind, Luna? Luna? I've been thinking about the day I was born. I could picture myself in your belly. And it's so fascinating to me that I'm actually a star child. Then you had Jupiter, and I can't believe we used to be so young. We've grown up so much. I still remember the day you were born. It was magical. You were so tiny and fragile, and I felt like I needed to protect you at all costs. Dad. I know, it's hard to believe how small you were when you were a baby. I remember how much I worried about you and just wanted to hold you in my arms. You were so delicate, but you had the most beautiful eyes. I was so scared when you wouldn't stop crying, but then you would look up at me and I would feel like I could do anything for you. Dad, you were so tiny, just a little baby but you had so much strength. I'm proud of you for how much you've grown and the person you've become. It makes me so happy to hear you talk about my birth like this. I can't help but feel so loved and cherished by both of you. 
You've taught me so much about life and how to be a good person. I'm so grateful for both of you. Yeah, I remember it too. I was really young, but I remember the feeling of being in mom's belly. It was so snug and comfortable. I felt so safe and protected, Luna. Yeah, I can still picture the look on your face when you came out. You were so tiny but so brave. You were the most adorable thing ever. I was five years old when you were born, but I still remember it like it was yesterday. It was so exciting to have a little sister, and I couldn't wait to play with you. Luna, I was only a year old when Jupiter was born. I can't believe how much time has passed since then. It seems like just yesterday that we were playing together and exploring the universe of science experiments. Now we're both growing up so fast. Oh, right. It seems like such a long time ago. But you're right. I was actually seven years old when Jupiter was born. It feels like so much has happened since then. But I still remember when I first held him in my arms. It was a magical moment. When you were born, we went to the hospital to perform the pregnancy again. It was a very special moment. And we were both so excited to meet our new baby, Dad. We couldn't wait to see his face and hold him in our arms. It was a life-changing experience, and we'll never forget it. Luna, I'm sure you're already thinking about what it will be like to have a little brother. Can you imagine all the fun things you can do together, Luna? Oh, it's going to be so much fun. We'll have to play games, make silly faces, and learn about the world together. I'm already so excited to see him and hold him in my arms for the first time. I can't wait. Luna and Jupiter are sitting in front of their computer, editing their family album. They're looking at old pictures of them together when they were just babies, and they can't help but feel nostalgic. Luna starts to wonder what life was like for their parents when they were young. And she wonders how different it was compared to now. Oh, so many questions, she exclaims, as the episode ends with her staring at the old pictures of her and her family. Thank you for watching the lost episode. We hope you enjoyed learning more about our family's story and how we came to be. We hope you continue to follow our adventures and learn something new along the way. Remember, the sky is the limit. And nothing is impossible. Let's keep dreaming big and exploring the universe of science experiments together.